children at work. Their numbers are increasing in a country where a worsening economic crisis is pushing more people into poverty. Nearly 8 in 10 people in Lebanon are now poor. Nearly half of the workforce is unemployed. Those who still have jobs struggle because of the collapse in the value of the local currency. For many, like Majida Abdullah, this means having to decide whether to send their children to school. I have five children. Two of the teenagers don't go to school any longer. They work at a hair salon and a cafe to help us pay bills. They are among the victims of Lebanon's economic collapse and skyrocketing inflation that has particularly affected children. A recent study by the UN's child agency UNICEF shows three in ten households have cut spending on education. Four in ten have been forced to sell household items to buy basic goods. Seven in ten have had to buy food on credit or using borrowed money. The United Nations says living conditions have deteriorated dramatically in just a few months, with more children going to bed hungry and not receiving the health care they need. I never seen a child who was malnourished in this country before, but recently I witnessed by myself a child who is really suffering from the uh, malnutrition. So those uh, desperate mothers and fathers who are being forced to take desperate measures only because they need to survive. Omar Dalili is among them. This vegetable seller used to be able to support his family before the financial meltdown began two years ago. Not any longer. That means Ali, Jinan, Khouloud are among what the UN says are the 260,000 children of school age whose education is at risk. Their father tells us the priority is to feed them. I can't send them to school every day because I don't make enough to give them pocket money or to buy the books, stationery and all other items they need. Hundreds of thousands of children are already living without the basic needs being met and the lack of political will to change a system that has inflicted misery on the population means the crisis is set to worsen. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Beirut.